Containment Foundation ask for your help, Agent Blue Balls. A Trials individual has been detected wandering in your world. Your threat level is low, but you need to be careful. A special microphone made with anti-troll protein will be sent to the mission. Dearly, Durbana. I remember when I have wake up. Ulati were all those voices in my head. Those terrible voices that told me, that told me to troll. All I have in my mind are memories from. When I woke up, I felt alone. Everything was so cold, so lonely. No one helped me, no one was there for me. I was so alone. But there was something I was sure. I need to find her. Oh my dear princess. What have I done? I'm a monster. 
I deserve to die. Why? Just beep. What? Beep. Three, two, one, go. What is the problem of you two? What the hell is the problem with you two? I'm a skeleton monster aberration with a robotic voice. Why are you two not running right now? If you two don't get out of here right now, I will need to force you. Three, two, one, go!
Congratulations. You got exactly what you wanted. My desires. My wishes. All my existence. None of that matters. Oh yes, I finally understand. In the end everything I needed all this time was so simple. Blue Balls Boy. Let's smile together. Let's do a little trolling. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> Stop. <laughs> I cannot stand it anymore. Just let me suffer in peace. Daddy? Uh, what was that?
Daddy? My child, where have you been? I was just kidding a little bit. I'm sorry. Don't worry, my dear. The important thing is that you're okay. I love you. Me too. My dear daughter, me too. My daughter. What did I do? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Do what you came to do. depths of my soul, I need to say, thank you my friend.
Greetings, my dear agent. You don't know how happy I'm to know you're still whole. <laughs> Just kidding. What do I want here? It's pretty simple. I'm here for the same thing as everyone else. A rep breacher. Don't be so apprehensive. We both know you can't wait for this. Let's have fun together. Let's play a game. A fun game. Where there are winners and losers. A game that we can have fun. What do you think, my dear? Let's make a deal. All you have to do is accept. Oh no, it looks like someone forgot to turn the lights on. Let's turn it on together. <laughs> oh no, looks like we have a lighting problem. Let's take a little break. <laughs> Today, our presenter will teach you how to fly. Before we start, go to the blackboard. Hold on. Brotip, you can use magnets to get faster. And now, our presenter will explain how it works. Easy steps to... And now, let's call our special guest. The rain is coming. Three, two, one, go!
don't you like the dark? So, maybe I should turn on the lights. Welcome back, honey. <laughs> Did you miss me? Of course not. Why am I so small? Oh, it's just a fluke. Actually, I must say this window is terribly comfortable. <laughs> Why are you complaining so much? I can't sing. I can't dance. All I did was try to balance things out. <laughs> your memories, your experiences, your fears, your desires. If you really want to beat me, you'll have to beat yourself first. Seems to me that you are quite fond of clowns, don't you? So maybe this is the perfect opportunity. And just one last thing. Don't play dumb with me. We both know exactly what you're capable of. So go ahead and die over and over again. <laughs> <laughs> He's using his powers. We're gonna have to stop the interview here. I will avenge them, even if I have to become a monster. <laughs> Thank you.
The Silence. You have no idea how much I love this deep silence. Don't you agree that the air feels so nostalgic? The 80s, those weird-haired people, wearing colorful clothes, and having fun like there's no tomorrow. But I don't really care. It's not like we were both born in this decade. <laughs> I must admit, I am truly disappointed. I was hoping you'd finally give up halfway, but you're like an insistent worm. Maybe I have to go deeper into your head if I really want to destroy you. So, it's time to have a little nostalgia. You remember him, don't you? But of course you remember. Look at him, so still, so silent, so smiling. It's a shame you killed him. What was it? I'm just telling the truth. <laughs> Enough. Go ahead and die. Three, two, one, go!
please. Explain how the fuck you still stand. This is becoming annoying. You should just fall and die. But somehow you keep coming back. If I really want to destroy you, then I will have to invade that small shit brain of yours from the front door. Oh. So that was the reason you joined that organization? <laughs> I could use this. Let's try again. A long time ago, there was a young man. His objective was clear. Learn to play the piano. The reason you ask me. He wanted to impress a girl. She was the most beautiful thing he had ever seen. Her long black hair, her pale and fragile body, and her smile. Oh, her smile. He loved everything about her. One day she listened to his notes. And embarrassed, he finally admitted his feelings. The young girl blushed and decided to give the boy a chance. And soon the two fell in love. Happiness reigned in their lives. Nonetheless, the show must go on. The public yearned for more and more. His skills had been recognized around the world, and the boy became a man. But inside him something began to grow, something terrible. The lust, the sound of the audience, the people clamoring for more and more. He became a monster. They fought. She begged him to stop, but he refused to listen. <laughs> the man had destroyed everything he loved. He was now alone. Alone in the abyss that he himself created. How ironic was that? How stupid was that? His existence was no longer right. His life no longer made sense. The sea. How I hate the smell of the sea. How I hate the feeling of water on my bones. And even when his awareness had already faded, the sound didn't stop. The audience continued to yearn for more. They screamed your name. They screamed out of nostalgia. So, he gave them what they most wanted. A tragic story, don't you agree? Cerulean boy. I don't think I'll ever understand any of your words. Now, let's sing together. Three, two, one, go!
Three, two, one, go! stories. I personally consider myself a real connoisseur. Unfortunately, those people took me out of my world.
and didn't even give me a single book to read. Oh, don't you want to hear my magnificent sad monologue? Don't be impatient, little blue balls boy. The time we spent together was so much fun. Okay, okay. You beat me, so I have to keep my part of the deal. Just don't regret it. right here. Consequences of your actions. Now she is mine. She is only mine. And this is all your fault.
3 2 1 GO You are. Did you really think you could save her? You lost. I know the world, and everyone in it belongs to me. Welcome back, honey. Where is your education? Maybe staying asleep for so long made you even bolder? What do you mean? We are all right here. Your friends, your family, your passion, and everyone in your world. Everyone. Everything. We are it. Just me. How stupid are you? Do you really think there's anything you can do? Three, two, one, go.
do you really think that insisting on this will bring her back? How pathetic. <laughs> I got it. I finally got it. Yes. All of us. We are. Ready on. We become one. And we became God. Now nothing and no one will forget me. All these men. All these souls. Everyone is looking at me. Just at me. What is it? The sound stopped? The voices... Did the voices stop? Who are you? What is that sound? God, what have I done? Three, two, one, go!
How did you do it? My plan was perfect. You were supposed to have lost, and I finally become a god. <laughs> Who are you laughing at? Who are you calling pathetic? What is this I'm feeling? What is this feeling in my chest? What did you do to me? Do not approach. Please do not do this. Oh shit.
Why? Why was I rejected? All I want is to be by your side. So why did you make that face when you saw me? You do not remember me. Don't you remember your own father? I got rid of all the things in our way so we could be together again. I tried hard to come here to talk to you. You hate me? Isn't it my fault? I know what I did. I know I hurt someone important to you. The voices. The voices don't stop. They tell me things. My doctor prescribed me some medicine to help me. But I don't want to take it. My plan is perfect. I can get this. If I do this, nothing and no one will be able to ignore me again. Yes, I know I can. I'll show everyone that I'm still capable. This will be the best show ever. The whole city will see. Everyone will. Fly. I feel pain. Why am I alive? Why do I feel so much pain? And those voices. Why do they want me to do these things? I should be dead. I made sure of it. Then why? Why? What is it? That music. It's mine. Who is listening to my music? Who? Oh, I hate this sound. I will stop this sound. I already forgot how much time has passed. When did I get here? How long have I wandered in this vacant land? I don't know. I don't even know anymore. This place is so weird. Bomb-headed men. Talking TVs. I feel stupid for stopping right here. And the worst thing for me is that I don't feel able to use my own powers properly. I don't know where I'm going. But the closer I get, the more this unsettling feeling in my chest expands. There is something here that is like that prison, an agent. I don't know who, and I don't know where, but I will find you. Um, that's it? Dad, 
dearest? <laughs> Interesting. Three, two, one, go!